Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be testing out a new mascara from Pat McGrath. This is the Dark Star Volumizing Mascara and I'm going to be comparing it to the Fetish Eyes Lengthening Mascara. Like the Fetish Eyes Mascara, the Dark Star retails for $30. The claims are that it is a gravity-defying mascara that delivers instant volume, multi-dimensional length, and weightless lift in a single stroke. A gel hybrid formula glides on evenly and adds texture with effortless control, micro fine cream pigments build luxurious volume, and flexible polymers offer control structure and shape without the weight. That is one of my biggest pet peeves is for my lashes to fall. I cannot stand it when I get this beautiful like feathered out effect and then an hour later they are like down here. It drives me bonkers. I do have natural curl to my lashes, so I didn't curl them or anything like that. And I do use a lash serum. It is always listed down in the description box under the eyes section. <laughs> so if you're wondering, are these my natural lashes? Yes, I just use a lash serum to make them grow and I'm getting really tongue-tied trying to say all these S's. <laughs> Before I get into the demo and the comparing of the two mascaras, I want you guys to guess which one is which or just simply tell me if you prefer one side to the other. Don't cheat. Just let me know which side you like better or if you even see a difference at all. All right, I am putting it on in three, two, one. Can we first talk about the fact that I never want to throw away the boxes that Pat McGrath's products come in from the palettes to the lipsticks to the liners and mascara. I mean, this is so pretty. The details that go into the boxes, I mean, they're just gorgeous. I wish the actual mascara resembled the box that it came in because I just think that would have been so, so cool. Especially if it had like that rubberized feeling and it was pink and black with the gold, mm, that would have been hot. But here we have this beautiful gold tube and it says in red, Pat McGrath Labs Dark Star Mascara. Let's open it up and see what the wand looks like. It has an hourglass wand, but the top portion of it is a little thicker or wider than the bottom part. Now I have a brand new sample size of the Fetish Eyes Mascara, and I'm going to do a little comparison. This wand is straight across. It does not have any curvature or anything like that to it. I actually really like this mascara, the original one from Pat McGrath. However, <laughs> the reason why I don't talk about it a lot is because while I love it and I feel like it gives me so much volume and length and it's just everything I want in a mascara, it doesn't last. It's three to four weeks and it's dried up on me. And I, I use a lot of different mascaras and this is the one that does it the quickest and it's pricey. So I just feel bad about recommending it, even though I love the way it makes my lashes look. It's just one of those that's really expensive for how long it lasts. That's why I have so many of the deluxe size samples. <laughs> All right, I'm going to zoom you guys in and we are going to put one on each eye and you guys let me know which one you like better. I am going to be putting the dark star on this side. One coat, I have a nice amount of curl and it kind of gives me that wispy effect that I love so much from the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. We'll see how it ends up at the end though. I'm gonna add more. It's building up on itself very nicely. It's not hard to get my lashes separated. I'm getting a lot of volume and I am going to go in one more time. Here's Dark Star completely finished. Now I'm gonna go in with Fetish Eyes on this eye. One coat of Fetish Eyes, I do think that Dark Star gave more straight out the gate than what this one did, but let's see what happens after I build this one up.
the final result. Which one do you guys prefer? Dark star or fetish eyes? Which one did you guys like more? I am shocked to tell you that I think I actually prefer the dark star and I did not anticipate that. Like I love this one so much that I just didn't think that there would be another one that I liked as much or more. But I think I like this one more. And this is just a first impressions. I will update you guys, but I just feel like I got instant volume, instant length, and that wispy effect that I love from the Too Faced Better Than Sex mixed with this. It's kind of a combination of the two mascaras is how I feel that the end result is. A mixture of this and the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I can't tell you whether or not this one flakes. I haven't had anything flake yet. I will leave that in a comment down below. I'll pin it and I'll tell you guys if I had any flaking or if my lashes fell. Now I've had this on over an hour already because I'm filming another video and nothing has happened so far. So that is good because usually it happens pretty quickly with my lashes. Uh, but yeah, I, I I just like this side. There's something about it that I just really enjoy. And I felt like I had to put on less than what I did with the original fetish eyes. I don't know why I'm calling it the original. It's just the first one that she put out. To quickly clarify, when I mentioned that a tube of this lasts me three to four weeks, I am not talking about the sample size or the deluxe size. I'm talking about the full size mascara. It that's how long the full size lasts. Well, I was looking at both of these on Sephora and I noticed the full size of this one is eight mils and this one is 13. So I'm wondering if maybe that's one of the reasons why I go through it so quickly. And I'm also wondering if this one is going to last me longer, not only because of the amount of difference in actual product, but also the formula. This doesn't feel as dry as this one does, which I like a drier mascara. I just feel like I can build and build and build. And with both of these, I can, but I feel like I got the effect that I wanted much quicker with the Dark Star. And it's interesting to see that this one has eight mils and this one's 13, but they're both the same price. So that's something you also should take into consideration. Another thing I like about the Dark Star is the wand. I really enjoy hourglass shape wands and I felt like I was able to separate the lashes just a little bit easier than what I can with the fetish eyes. So clear winner for me is the Dark Star. I will update you guys like I said, but as of right now, like I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this side. I think it looks so good and it's so nice and black. Like I don't know if I can tell the difference between which one's more black. I just like this side better. <laughs> Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Let me know down below what you think, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.